Hey Ben, it's me. We got one. Hey Ben. Hey. Uh oh. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> we got a request, our uh, first request to celebrate the unearthing of the New Mexico ET landfill. You know, a friend of mine on Facebook says they want us to beat ET for Atari. Does he hate you? No, he has, he wanted you to beat it. So he hates me. He hates you. Great. But um, I, I looked everything up online. Apparently, this is actually a pretty easy game uh, if you actually know what you're doing. Which I don't. You don't. I know what to do. So I want you to play for a little bit, and then we'll <laughs> figure everything out. So, um, okay, so. So, yeah, just push the little button, and we'll play some E.T. Now, that's E.T. Yeah, I mean, I could tell, I guess. He's not brown. And now you're teleporting everywhere. And now you're just... Mm. Yeah, so this is supposedly the worst game ever made. <laughs> but, um... I kind of think that's an un... <laughs> I wonder why they call it the worst game ever made. There you go. See, that's not how... Oh, you got a question mark. What does that do? Right there. That's a... That's a um, that pit has a telephone in it. See, that's a telephone. Okay. If you say so. Uh, no, that is a telephone. Ah. It's obvious to me. <laughs> okay, so... For those of you who do not know... And was that, what was that black thing you picked up? Um, on the bottom, it kind of looks like a thumbs up. Is that a thumbs up? I think that's a number one. A very bad number one. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's oh, those the are the, the one and the. Yeah, those are those uh, Reese's Pieces. Uh, part. <laughs> if you collect nine, that little kid's supposed to give you another telephone piece. Okay, yeah, for those of you who don't know, what's that symbol mean? You're just wasting energy. The The purpose of E.T. is you are playing as E.T., obviously, and you need to collect three telephone pieces. And the telephone pieces are located in these dark... Oh, wait, wait, go back to the question mark. There's a question mark? Yeah, yeah go, go down. No piece here. So, well, now you're in the city. And so you have to find the three pieces of the phone, call home, and that's it. That's how you beat the game. And you made a flower grow. Yeah, I got a happy face. You got a happy face. I don't know what that does. You're wasting energy. I couldn't make him fly. I haven't seen the movie in a while, but does he fly? I don't think he flies. No, no, he has that, that scene where they're on the bike. Yeah, but I thought that was just a magical bike. Hey, you know what? I don't know. It's like, you know, that flying power could have come in handy a lot throughout the whole film. So after you find the three pieces of the phone... You are supposed to call home, and then, oh, there's the kid. Now, why can he walk over pits? There you go. Straight ahead. Piece number two! <laughs> yeah, anyway, you call home, yeah. you found the flower again, and that's it. You beat the game. And supposedly there are three modes of gameplay. I don't know what that does. It, it made my energy thing go back up. Did it? Eating the... Oh, that's the eating the Reese's pieces. Anyways, there's three modes of gameplay in this. There is one where you have to avoid an FBI agent and a scientist. 
That's game mode one. The FBI agent steals your phone pieces. Uh, the scientist locks you up, but he doesn't do anything to you. So police bad, scientist not so bad. Okay. And mode two only has the FBI agent. Mode three, which is the one we're playing, has neither of those. So I guess this is easy mode. You know, you collect six more of those Reese's Peanut Butter Cup thingies, and um, the kid will give you the last phone piece. Wait, how many have you found? You're just going in circles now. How many what have I found? Phones. Oh, two. Two. So many. You didn't even touch a pit. No, yeah, I just went on the edge of the screen. This game's terrible. Well, considering the history... Oh, wait, wait, there's a question mark. Damn it. Uh, considering the history of the game, which is, I think, the developer um, told their one programmer, hey, you have, like, three weeks or something to that effect to finish this game. And he did, and technically speaking, the game was a success. It sold like a million copies. I feel like three weeks would be more, you know, you could make a better game out of that. Well, it's one guy. Yeah. So he had to draw everything and paintbrush. Yeah, the drawings are so good in this. He, he had to use primitive Windows paintbrush. You notice everything here is a cube? What, what's, here's my question. Stand still. Stand still. What's that between his legs? Um, <laughs> that's his penis. <laughs> he, he doesn't like facing right. He just always goes back <laughs> left. <laughs> oh, there it is! You got the phone! Okay. Now, um... How do I phone home? You gotta go to the uh, the start of the game. The, the grassy area. I'm about to run out of Oh my <laughs> god, no! No! You gotta beat it, Ben! E.T. is not good. He's bad. Go, go right, go right, go right. No! Oh! Uh, <laughs> He's I a died. corpse! Oh. Okay. <laughs> so what, the kid touches you and he heals you? I guess I ate the kid. <laughs> you ate Elliot. No, no, keep going right. I'm just going to fall in the hole. No, no, here. keep... I will take the controller away from you. I went to the right. Keep going right. As far as you can. Okay, right. There. You got lucky. Now go up. You got to find the grassy knoll. Isn't there a place to eat? Around here? I don't know. Like over here? Right here! Yeah. Chow down on those Reese's! Okay. Now, did you know they wanted to use M&M's, but uh, the people who do M&M's... What's that? That's the target. You need to find the phone symbol. Um, try the screen south. No, no, no. Uh, the corner between those two pitfalls. Go down, go down, go down. No. There! That, that thing. Alright, now, now you gotta get to the middle of the grassy knoll. So the space invader is what calls it. Yeah, you call the space invaders. What do you think E.T. is? So right here is where I go? Yeah. Am I just like, hit a button or... I think. Maybe when the timer runs out? I don't know. Anyway, uh, interesting bit of trivia. They wanted M&M's, but the company that makes M&M's said, we don't think the movie will be that successful. Do it now. Do it now. Go up. Hey! Did we do it? Yeah, I guess. Is that it? Really? Wow. So that's it? That's it. That's it. We beat E.T.
under 10 minutes. Whoa. What'd you do? How'd you do that? Apparently if you hold the button, you run. Huh. That would have been helpful. <laughs> yeah, waste your energy faster, but... Yeah, look at that. Dude, E.T. could really... Yeah. That boy can run, man. In the movie, he just waddles. <laughs> go, little dude, go! I don't know why you keep going when you go left, you just fall in the pitfall. Oh, it's because those things are at the edge of the screen, okay. Yeah, so this game's, uh, you yeah. You see, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as people make it out to No. I'm, yeah. I'm sure, so, like, Superman 64 is worse. Yeah, the Superman 64 is... King's Knight. Oh, King's Knight. King's Knight. Yeah, God. We'll try that video game later. We're not going to be able to beat it, though. No. Here, reset it. Let's see if we can beat this, since we have so much time. Uh, yeah, I'll play. Yeah, reset. Let's try mode... Mode uh, 1. 